Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Well, from the Market Street United Methodist Church on this glorious Sunday morning, September 29th. How is time going so fast? It is so good to see some new faces uh, as we come to worship uh, this morning. Uh, and so some of you have been traveling, but worshiping with us online. And so I greet you for all of those that have been, that are here this morning, and to those of you who are worshiping, you continue to worship with us online. So thank you, and as we continue to be our best for God's glory. And so I hope that you have seen some of the uh, looping announcements, and we continue to take pictures to help you be a part of the family of God all together. So if you see some pictures and the way we celebrate babies and births, but those pictures do not go across the internet, just so that you do know that. It's important that some folks know that those pictures do not, unless you share them already. Um, but continue to be our best. And uh, last week, Herman and I tried the new annual conference. I'm sure maybe you heard conference uh, Failed miserably with technology. Glad that they're not that we're not the only ones that struggle, and that will get rescheduled at another time in the future. But we continue uh, to be our best for God's glory. And so this morning we come, and uh, I invite you to join me in opening prayer. Precious God, we ask that your Holy Spirit would pour down on this place. Open our hearts, open our minds this morning. Help us to receive your spirit. Help us to be open to hear what we might need this morning. Help us to turn our backs to our to-do list and give you our undivided attention this morning. And so let us be fertile soil to for you, O oh God. Give our best for your glory. We give you the thanks and the praise that you are worthy of our worship in your powerful, matchless, precious name. Amen. Join me in our call to worship this morning. Welcome to this community of faith. You come seek hope and courage for the future. Here you will find peace, hope, love, and joy. We come we down like the door is in our lives. Here you will find Jesus, who will take your burdens on himself. Lord, we come to you to this day, in the name of mercy and love. Amen. And so this morning, once again, we get to hear from our choir, from uh, Michelle. And again, uh, we appreciate all the ways that we are using technology to appreciate the ways that we can love to hear, and continued prayers.
is, I, I like to keep uh, uh, us uh, abreast of what's uh, exciting and, and happening. And so, as you can see, we need to socially distance, as you're well aware of. And so, one of the visions that we've had is when we continue to build, that we would move to two services. Now, I am well aware of some of the um, challenges that the church um, struggled with to get that before you had two services. And it was painful that when you went to one, for some of you, and us just going to two services uh, would be only because we are out of seats. And that is where we are, have, are moving to. And so on October 11th, we will be going to, moving to two services, 9 and 11, only and only if we have enough ushers. We need four ushers per service, two downstairs and two upstairs to help us uh, be uh, with seating and taping, taking up the temperatures. So if, if this is something that the church desires, I need your help and help us to be uh, ushers. And so if that's what we are, and so it's teamwork. So thanks for your ministry and the way that we all work together. And so, um, but that's where we're moving forward so that we can continue to grow and reach beyond the walls. So continue to think about it, but don't want to do it next week because it's communion. And I uh, want to continue to be one in Christ, come with union, be one together. And uh, so we'll do have it one next week and then two the week after if we have enough ushers. So I just hope that that would be uh, amenable with everyone. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Psalm 119, I call with all my heart, answer me, O Lord, and I will obey your decrees. I call out to you, save me, I will keep your statutes. I rise before dawn and cry for help, I have put my hope in your word. My eyes stay open through the watches of the night that I may meditate on your promises. Hear my voice, renew my life. Yet you are near, O Lord, and all your commands are true. Long ago I learned from your statutes that you have established them to last forever. O precious God, we come this morning and we thank you that you are on the throne. You are there yesterday. Your laws are here today, and they will are established for all eternity. We come, O oh God, and we, with all of these burdens that are on our hearts, those that have been listed out loud this morning, those that have been uh, shared with this community of faith, that we might lift one another in love, for those that we have carried deep within our hearts, maybe that are so heavy that we might not even know how to groan before you. And so we thank you that you know us better than we know ourselves. And so we thank you, O oh God. And we come. We bring you our financial, emotional, relational, spiritual, all of those pieces and we bring you to put them and place them on the altar. We not allow you, the gracious physician, the healer, the most high, to receive them, to work in your will and your way and your timing. And now we come. Hear us in our quiet moments as we come before you.
your salvation, oh God. For your loss of my delight. That we live for I praise you. I thank you for these words. And now, as your disciples, we say those words that you told us so long ago. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, 